When your players create a game golf profile, you can follow them to get updates on how they play every round, hole by hole, where you can know exactly how they play in the course. So the main difference here is you can understand a player's club, club selection and distance on the course compared to the range. Now there's a huge difference in a player hitting 10 shots with an 8 iron on the range compared to taking you know, a several minute break in between shots from a driver to that 8 iron on the course. In the study we ran with the NorCal section PGA Teacher of the Year, Eric Jones, we found out that players from handicaps 0 and up to 30 had on-course distances of up to 18 yards shorter than what they thought they hit each club with in their head. So he had his players use the distances that Game Golf tells them to hit each club, and all 40 of his players improved from 1 and up to 9 strokes in just one round. You can also figure out if they have gaps in their bag and should add a, a hybrid or an extra wedge and even compare various drivers to see which is the best fit. From there you can look at their shot dispersion off the tee. So there's a huge difference in perceiving how you hit your shots compared to the actual data. So in my head, I thought my typical miss was left. Turns out I miss right almost twice as much as I do left. Now by selecting shots with any club or any distance you choose, Pretty quickly you can figure out which distances a player needs to work on. So you'll see here that compared to the rest of my irons, my 60 to 70 yard shots with a lob wedge need the most work. Going back to a player's profile, you can see a history of their stats and how those stats have affected their score. So that way you can tell whether the things you're working on are positively or negatively affecting their game. And also which area of their game causes scores to change the most. The best part of the system is visibility with your students. Three minutes before a player shows up for a lesson, you can check out their latest rounds, stats, and on-course trends to figure out how you want to focus your lessons. So you don't need to rely on a player telling you what areas of their game they need to work on because you'll have all the data and can give them action items during the lesson that will incrementally benefit their entire game. So another aspect is, if you haven't seen a player in a month or two, and notice they've been shooting scores higher than they typically do, you can message them exactly when they're the most frustrated with their game, and that's going to give them help exactly when they need it. So it's another way that you can be able to get, you know, just retain students throughout the year. So using our challenges section, players can compete against each other locally or worldwide, but what's great about this is that as a college or high school coach, I can gather all of my players in one private invite-only challenge. That lets me quickly sort and view how all of my players are doing in each category of their game. In surveying a group of users, we found that the majority thought the tagging process helped build focus into their pre-shot routine, similar to a performance trigger used by many PGA Tour players. Now, most players had some sort of pre-shot routine previously, but rarely ever executed it the same every time. The tag helped embed a pre-shot routine into every shot, which increased focus and performance during a round.